Salam alaikum. Hello everyone. Today we will go more practical. We will discuss a very important yet challenging topic that will become really interesting once you understand it. This video will give you an idea to understand how to approach circulatory abnormalities in terms of diagnosis and treatment. So for diagnosis, we will use these parameters. Heart rate, blood pressure, cardiac index, systemic vascular resistance, and JVP, which is a surrogate marker of the right side preload. Using these parameters, we will identify where the problem is and then suggest the optimal treatment. Before we get into our table, remember these three exceptions. All the abnormalities that we will discuss will have low blood pressure, except for one that's caused by hypertension. If we have low blood pressure, we will always have reflex tachycardia, except if we have a conduction defect. Only one will have a high cardiac index, which happens due to increased body demand, and that is sepsis. Now having these three in mind, let's master this topic. Our parameters in the first condition would look like this. So high cardiac index, low SVR due to systemic vasodilation. Based on what we already know, this must be sepsis. And for that, antibiotics would be the treatment. Remember that neurogenic shock can have similar clinical picture, but with low cardiac index. Second one is this. Here, the clues are low cardiac index with low preload or JVP. The problem here is related to preload, and these cases can represent conditions such as hypovolemia. And the treatment would be volume repletion. Third one has this clinical picture. It's similar to the one above. However, the JVP is high. This one suggests that we have a problem with the pump itself. And the treatment in this case is to support the pump, either by altering the loading conditions or with the support of inotropic agents or devices. Fourth condition on our list has these features. Please note that although the JVP is high, most of the other parameters can be normal. The main problem in here is high preload, and thus the treatment would be some sort of diuresis. Fifth circulatory abnormality has this profile. Can you see this? The discordant heart rate that does not respond to low blood pressure is the key. These patients have a problem with their conduction system and therefore would likely benefit from pacing to increase their heart rate. Lastly is this case. Here, the key is the dissociation between cardiac index and blood pressure. The high blood pressure in this case directs us to think about a problem in afterload. Antihypertensive agents are likely to help these scenarios by reducing afterload. Finally, remember this. For the JVP, it goes down in the first two cases, sepsis and hypovolemia. We hope that we were able to simplify this important topic. Please let us know what do you think about the approach to circulatory abnormalities and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get our latest explanations. Until next time.